Greetings everyone and welcome back to Rimworld and to Noble's Rest, where we are being besieged by the Broken Empire. Now, we've had a bit of time since the last episode, or rather I've had a bit of time since the last episode, to properly review the situation. There are a few things that we can already see. Where they're going to build their defences, uh, leaving a fairly large area to the north exposed. And uh, the south is, is much more heavily defended than realistically uh, I think there was any need to, given that uh, we're most unlikely to be attacking from the south. Nevertheless, that's also where they're building their mortars. Now that is a good move, because it's furthest away from anywhere where I can realistically do them harm. We could possibly approach from the left here, but that's uh, honestly probably more suicidal than anything else. We could approach from the north, but again, we would be as exposed as they are. The most likely avenue for attack is from the right. Now, that will mean that there will be a bit of cluster of defense down here, but that can be used to our benefit. Specifically, Dark Avax uh, Blinding Pulse. This affects an area of four tiles. Uh, that, that's a radius of four tiles, so it's actually quite uh, a lot there, and has a range of 25. Now, unfortunately, pretty much every enemy here has a range of 25. The shortest range weapon they have is the Heavy SMG, and that has a range of 23. So uh, we just slightly be able to uh, outdistance it. But apart from the meleeers, everyone is realistically going to be able to hit in that kind of area. The Charge Lance and the LMG and the Charge Rifle all have an effective range that equal Dark Avax Assault Rifle, which is the longest range weapon that we have. We do have a couple of other weapons that can operate in the sort of 25 range. Uh, we've got the Incendiary Launcher, which is probably going to feature quite heavily in our defense, as well as a heavy SMG. Now, looking at the area, how are we going to approach? Well, we've got a couple of options. We could go straight down, skirt around, and then duck in. They probably wouldn't engage us initially. Uh, but once we get too close, they will start taking part shots. So we don't really want to uh, be too, too brazen about it. So the most likely avenue for approach is down and around. Now, this uh, actually opens up a couple of other options because we do have an ancient danger here. Now, if we play our cards right, we might be able to break in just as we get some of them to follow us through and then leave them to mop up whatever uh, lurks in the darkness. But that still means that we need to approach down this way, and this is a not very good cover. Granted, we only really have about three competent combatants. Dark Avac, obviously quite good in melee or at range. Lady Wolfheart, much better in melee than range, but she's probably going to have to fight at range here. We're, we're unlikely to want to get into melee if we can avoid it. Evil Friend, quite good at shooting. So Evil Friend and Dark Ava are going to be our, our main combatants, I would say, here. But uh, yeah, this is going to be a bit of a rough one. This is going to be a bit of a rough one. I don't think we're going to be able to engage them and, and, and force them to come out to us before they've really started to uh, build up. We, we're, we've got too much ground to cover on that one. So, given that, I think instead we're going to uh, approach us a little bit more cautiously, a little bit more slowly. Now, a spike trap takes 45 uh, steel to make, and we've got quite a few, uh, quite a few bits of steel around here. So I'm going to say, let's go ahead and set up two Effectively, we're going to use two stacks and a little bit to set up those four spike traps. I think that would be a good initial use of some of our time and resources. Uh, but following that, uh, let's get our peeps equipped properly. I would like Evil Friend to go ahead and grab the incendiary launcher, and Lady Wolfheart to grab the heavy SMG. Now, I know giving the heavy SMG to someone who's got a bit less uh, less aiming skill, not the greatest idea, but if our enemy clump together, then miss shots are, you know, still dangerous to someone. But Evil Friend, generally speaking, I'm going to want this to land more or less where I tell him to shoot it. So uh, one of our better aims should grab that one, if possible. Now, they are going to get their turret up and running. Look at all those meals. Uh, they are going to get that turret up and running before we get down there. Now, how are we going to get down there? I'm thinking we need to do a few things. We are going to need to kind of duck 
in and out of cover as we approach. So to that end, I'm going to set up a couple of zones where I want roofs built so that we have time to get down there. Let's uh, do something along these lines, I think. There we are. That, that should give us a little bit of cover. And then generally speaking, this is going to be where we're engaging them. So let's uh, get a roof down there. Now, I'm thinking that it may well be worth our time taking some of the steel that we have available here. We could probably grab three full stacks of steel to take with us down here and duck in here. We can build up some walls, maybe some doors or something like that. Just something to slow them down, if nothing else, and possibly funnel them past this ancient danger. That is probably going to be uh, how we, we plan this one out. So, Dark Avak, given that uh, you're already here, let's get you down here. I want you to build these roofs, please and thank you. Uh, we popped the other one down there, didn't we? Yes, we did. Now, we're going to need to get on this fairly quickly. I am going to set up a storage zone specifically for steel just down here. Now, we are going to be uh, roofing this little, little spot off. So let's go ahead and uh, at least two stacks of steel. Let's go with two stacks of steel. I'm going to make this a critical priority. We're going to clear everything in here and all we want is steel. There we go. Now, with that, once Evil Friend or Lady Wolfheart have uh, equipped themselves, I should be able to get them to carry that steel down where I'm going to need it. Now, to encourage them to take a certain route, it may actually be better if I use it two separate uh, storage areas and just do this in two trips. That may well be worth it. In fact, let's uh, go ahead. We'll pop a little place over here, make it critical, set this one up for steel. I could have uh, just copied over the, the uh, characteristics there. But we'll drop this one down to preferred. Uh, this way, that should be the, the first place that uh, we take that over. And then as soon as Lady Wolfheart has grabbed... Oh, has she already grabbed? Oh, she has. Fantastic. Now you can grab this one then. Let's get you out there. Ica, if I could get you working there and Bone Dragon working on this. There we are. Now we've got quite a few jobs to do. We've got a fair bit of time that we need to do it in. Once I've done that, I'm probably going to try and set up at least a little bit of defense. Maybe even a... a some a little room down here somewhere we can back off to we're probably going to want to build something up here this is going to be the angle where we're attacking from and to that end we are probably going to want something uh now if we wanted sandbags we'd have to bring down some sort of cloth or leather we don't necessarily have that but we do have this it's it's a, a small consolation but it should be enough something like this will offer us a bit of the fence. Now this isn't ideal because we can't put anything there, but having the two bits of uh, cover, one there, one there, will effectively um, reduce aiming angles. So if someone were to shoot from down here, the bullet, well in this case it will still only have to pass through one angle. If we could get a, a uh, piece of cover there, then it would, it would effectively have to pass through two pieces of cover in order to hit anyone here. It's a bit of a shame that we can't do that, honestly. Um, is there a way that we can make that happen? I don't think there is. I don't think there is, which is deeply, deeply saddening. But it is what it is. We're just going to have to do our best. Uh, getting that there will still give us a bit of better cover, because if something shoots up from this angle and doesn't clip this corner, then we could easily be shot there. So if uh, if we have that, we're just going to have a little bit more safety. And I'll probably build a wall or, or something similar around this area just to make it that little bit harder for our enemy to engage us. But this is going to be quite quite uh, dangerous for us to do. But uh, that's going to be the plan. Hopefully, we can make this happen nice and quickly. Yoko, of course, is not going to be joining us in this battle. Uh, she is full of puppies and we don't want her to get into the fight. Welcome back everyone. As you can see, Dark Avak is currently busy at work setting up the defenses down here. Don't stop, you scoundrel. Uh, let's just hope he doesn't present too easy of a target. Fantastic, you are dead. Okay, this gives uh, Yoko somewhere to... <clears throat> to be i do uh, apologize for the cough there uh we're gonna set up a new zone uh manage areas i want a new zone please we're gonna call this one freezer freezer there we go and with that let's go ahead 
and set this little zone up down there. Now, I want Yoko to hang tight in the freezer for now. She is easily able to uh, be comfortable in those temperatures. I'll just bring that one up now. Minimum comfortable temperatures, minus 40. She can happily sit in there and can uh, uh, scoff as much of that corpse as she wants. You may also notice that, uh, yes, unfortunately, a couple of the shots have made their way over here and have broken both a wind turbine and a solar panel and have greatly damaged another one. We are presently trying to repair it, but uh, repairs are slow, unfortunately. Now, have we got another one readying to fire? Yes, both of them are actually on the verge of being uh, ready to fire, which is uh, quite quite worrisome. Now, I've gone ahead and I've changed the plan slightly. We're going to keep going with this little uh, pan all the way up here. I'm very hopeful the Dark Avak from this position will still be able to engage his enemies down there, and it does look like that's going to be the case. We'll have you a friend there, and then finally we'll have Lady Wolfheart in this little alcove. That double fortification is so incredibly important for survivability. So let's uh, go ahead and get all of this done. And as soon as you're done there, Dark Avak, we'll just get you to finish off these, and then we should be good to go. Now, the enemy are stepping forward, which is a little bit worrisome, I must confess. Uh, have they fired? They are both aiming over here. Possibly for Bone Dragon, possibly for Pepster. Uh, given that, then, Bone Dragon, how about you duck in here for now? They don't appear... Well, actually, how about you move in here? Because they can't punch through that, that wall. Thankfully. Right. Dark Havoc is dead. Oh, no. Oh, no. That is a bad place to be going, Dark Havoc. No, no, no. No, no. Around the other side. Thank you. -ah. Yeah. No. No, thanks. Can you, Are you still able to aim? No, you are not. Good. Right. Where are those cannon shells going? Okay. They were going for Bone Dragon. Oh, wow. You scoundrels. You've just punched a hole in the roof here. That is quite annoying. All right, Yoko is already eating as well. Now, we are going to be stopping and starting a lot here because this is an incredibly dangerous part of our plan. Oh, there we go. And just like that, shot in the torso by a heavy SMG. Not the, the best, and that was because uh, we unpaused a little bit too early there. Uh, right, well, Dark Avak, I'm going to want you to take care of your own bleeding, please. Let's uh, get you over here. Let's get you down there. Please, thank you. Move off. There we go. And I'm going to want you to then immediately take care of your bleeding. So, can you... Will you self-tend? You don't appear to want to. Hmm. No, we don't seem to be able to get you to self-tend. Okay, well, that's fine then. Let's pop you back onto uh, regular uh, healing. Now, let's get our peeps into their designated positions. There's a little bit of damage here, but it's uh, nothing we really need to worry about. Now, this should offer us significant amounts of protection. Now, hopefully, one of them is going to notice. There we go. Now, from our current position, we've got a 23% chance to shoot the uh, attacker over here. And, wow, Dark Avax, seriously? Let's have a look at that. That was revenge. Did, were, were they the person who managed to hit you? Let's have a look. No, Melodus. Managed to shoot him in the... Uh, where did they, they shoot you? Uh, where did you get hit? In the, in the torso. But uh, as as revenge, you let fly a uh, flurry of bullets. And uh, you managed to take them down. Where did it land? Uh, in the torso. So it was straight up a revenge shot. Uh, I imagine you were aiming for the spine. Uh, right, let's get a couple of shots down there. Now, these guys are going to be able to shoot us from quite far away. Now, unfortunately, they're nowhere near enough for us to start uh, really engaging with the others. Oh, no, they're coming forward, though. I think it's about time that we get a stun pulse going. Let's pop that there. Now, this, the blinding pulse costs 20, um, 20 neural heat. And lasts for 30 seconds, whereas stun costs 12 neural heat and lasts for three seconds. So it's 10 times, uh, it lasts for 10 times as long for just a little bit under twice as much to do it. 
Uh, I would like you to aim for him, if you could, please. Now that they've uh, decided to poke their face out, go for the charge lance. That is by far the most dangerous of the weapons that, that is here. The heavy SMGs are, are nasty if they get in close, but uh, the charge lance can be nasty at extreme range. There we go. Now, they should be pretty messed up in terms of sight. Yes, for 30 seconds, they've got 50% sight. And again, I, I believe I've mentioned this uh, a few times before, that is worse than having an eye out in the real world. You lose an eye, you lose 5 to 10% of your vision, and that includes your kind of peripheral vision. You know, with one eye, you actually have a, an enormous cone of vision, and then the second one just adds a little bit to the edge. Uh, you know, you lose you lose fine detail and, and ability to focus, depth perception, that sort of thing. But, you know, as a whole cone of vision, you only lose 5 to 10%. But uh, this is flat out 50%, and that has a big impact on someone's accuracy we have a look down here where is your shooting accuracy now sight is minus six and that is a 12 times impact so at various ranges let's say 20 you've only got a 24.7 percent chance to hit at that open range dark avac on the other hand let's have a look at your accuracy uh, at a range of 20 you've got a 60.3 percent chance now i do believe they've broken and they are coming to meet us. Now, honestly, if they want to uh, stand right there, I'm happy to just take them out like this because it seems that they are struggling to deal with us right now, and I am 100% okay with this. Uh, we are bleeding, and I dislike that quite a lot, but uh, let's get some more shots in there because right now we're in a fairly good position. You are going to be a problem, though, and I don't want to have to deal with that, so it's time for us to start bailing. Go, go, go. Dark Avak, I could stun them. Uh, evil friend, you go as well. Go, go, go. Uh, I guess Dark Avak should should make a move now. Hopefully, he is not too greatly uh, slowed down. The yeah, I mean, it's it's hurting. The pain is probably affecting us. Uh, yeah, consciousness is down a little bit due to the pain, but that's fine. We're still very fast compared to most people. Now, what I'm going to need to do is whilst uh, our enemies here are filtering through. Now, hopefully, they are going to be stopping their assault. And as soon as that is finished, they're going to uh, give chase. Uh, we are going to have Dark Avak immediately. He's already caught up and, and, and passed uh, his allies. Uh, let's get you two behind cover over there. Dark Avak, I want you in here right now. Right, we have no idea what's on the other side of this wall, but we absolutely want it broken down. Let's get that broken quickly, 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 and insect hive. Nice. Okay, you're going to drop a stun. Right, move. Uh, yeah. Okay, you can get behind because they are melee combatants. That's there we go. Let's uh, see what we can do. Uh, keep drawing back. The insects will possibly engage them here. There we are. The insects have drawn their ire. Oh, that's fantastic. And now they are going to have uh, annoyed the insect, and the insects are going to get involved. The mortar shelling has stopped. Let's have a look around here. How are things looking back here? Okay, not too bad. Not too bad at all, actually. But I am noticing that these are not finished. What are you doing? Watching for targets. Uh, oh, yes, I did get you back in here, didn't I? Ica, I'm going to need you out there as well. Uh, our enemies are going to be at the gates reasonably soon. Ah... Uh -huh. Could we lure one or two of them up towards this trap, I wonder? Possibly. Possibly. Bone Dragon. Could I get you to go and stand in this doorway for now? Uh, right. You guys, uh, draw back. Dark Avac. Yeah, you can You can step forward. You can possibly do a little bit more damage to them. There we go. Uh, can we get a shot there? Now, they seem to be really focused on engaging the insect. And I am absolutely okay with this. Uh, could you go there, evil friend? Thank you. And drop an incendiary blast over here. Now, if we can, I would very much like to get down here and grab whatever it is that you've got. Flak pants, parker, flak vest, all decent quality. We very much want these items. Very, very much want these items. Uh, let's see how this is going down. Uh, actually, let's move you out as well. Oh, oh they are going for us now. Damn it, they managed to get Evil Friend. Uh, but Evil Friend's armor managed to reduce or downgrade the damage from a sharp 
attack to a blunt attack. So as a result, bruised his torso and cracked his rib cage beneath. That is fine. Now they should be far too involved in that fight to come to the aid of uh, Melodus, who, by the way, is the one who shot Dark Avax. So uh, there's there's a matter of avenge to take care of here. Uh, could we get another stun, perhaps? Right about there. There we go. And there we are. And pop! Another flame. Fantastic. I can't imagine that you're going to be getting out of this one, mate. Keep up the pressure. Keep up the pressure. Come on. There we are. And they're going for cover. And they're on fire again. Oh, that is that is working so well. They are panicking. Critical colonist needs rescue. Oh, no. I took my eyes off. Damn it all. Ika, how are you doing? Uh, you're dead in six hours. Pepsa, I need you to bail. Oh, uh, this is the problem. I took my eyes off for a second. Pepsa I got shot there. Hopefully. Pop. There we go. Right. Let's get you down here. We need to get on the way over there very soon. Uh, let's drop another stun. There we go. Everyone open fire. And there we are. They're broken. Now, how much is left there? Right, I need to get Dark Avac. Evil friend, how hurt are you? You're not too badly hurt. Okay, okay, okay. So, you're going to be breaking. Ica can now be rescued. Bone Dragon. Rescue Ica. Pepster, how badly wounded? No immediate da damage. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Who amongst you can do any kind of tending? None of you can. Bone Dragon sort of can. I'm going to allow you to try. Uh, all right. Uh, actually, it was a Bone Dragon. No, it was Ike who went down. We need to get back, and we need to get back very quickly. However, I don't want you to die and lose all of that stuff, because that stuff is incredibly important to get down there as quickly as you can. Uh, is anyone else on the verge of dying? A couple. Lady Wolfheart? Make a run for it. We need to get all of this stuff back to base as quickly as we can. Uh, let's go ahead and claim everything. This is all now ours. There we go. And I'm going to allow everything. This is all 100% ours forever and ever and ever. Uh, actually, Lady Wolfheart, no, don't you go down there. I want Lady Wolfheart to head back to base. Uh, evil friend, though. Let's get you involved in this. Uh, let's uh, move down because, yeah, the insects are active. Okay. So, given that, drop a stun. And evil friend, Lady Wolfheart, I'm going to have to bring you back into uh, combat. Sorry about this, everyone. We need these to be shut down. I was kind of hoping, if I'm honest, for them to be uh, taken out earlier. Never mind. Just stun them. Open fire. Keep opening fire. Need another stun. And again, there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and push the limit. Get this one stunned, please. There we go. Keep going. Everyone attack this one. And again, because that stun is about to wear out. There we go. Ah, you just set Dark Avag on fire. You derp. Complete derp. Uh, thank you very much for putting that out, Lady Wolfheart. Uh, at least someone... Has got their head screwed on. Right. Strip him. Is anyone still alive? Yes, you. Strip him as well. What is that? We've got a psychic soothe pulser. We've also, unfortunately, got a couple of other things going on in there. Uh, are we okay? We are okay right now. Okay, get in there. Go ahead, strip him. Uh, actually, no. Uh, I want you to go to strip this. We've got to try and grab as much of this gear as we can. You can strip him instead. Dark Avak, get in there. Strip. And I'll send Dark Avak back shortly. Right, there we go. Uh, this is a recon helmet. Very important item, that one. All right, I want you heading back. Grab this and haul it. Uh, the recon armor as well would be incredibly important. There we are. Ah, shield belt. Fantastic. All right, take out that hive if you can, please. All right, then, everyone, let's go, go, go. We've got to get back. We've got to save Ica. Right, Yoko, you are allowed out now. Let's go ahead. You can go back to home. <sighs> Ica took damage because we were not paying attention. Or rather, I was not paying attention. And that does pain me somewhat, but uh, it is the best that we can do. Overall, this engagement has not been awful. 
It could certainly have gone a lot worse. Let's uh, go ahead and make sure that's popped. There we go. We've also managed to retrieve this ancient danger. Okay, so a couple of things we need to do. First and foremost, Dark Avak, go and... I need to prevent you guys from dying due to toxic buildup out here. To that end, I'm going to need to pull you these corpses in somewhere. Uh, let's go ahead and set up... Uh, let's see. I'm going to pop these there, there and there. Right, as soon as they've you've stripped them, thank you, can you rescue them? I want you to, well, I guess capture, but we're not going to actually have any way that we can put them. And I can't set these to prisoner, no. Okay, so we're going to have to send them to the meat lockers then. Uh, right, and we will just fill these up with prisoner beds in there. There we go, four prisoners. Right, if you could kindly capture them. And Dark Avak, if you could kindly capture him. Go, go, go. We've got to move quickly here. Now, Lady Wolfheart being back, she will be able to tend to Ica, which is going to be ex extremely important, like crazy important. Uh, I would like you to head out and grab... Oh, we've got so many bodies to collect. So many bodies to collect. This is crazy. That has massively helped. But yikes, dragging all of this stuff back. Uh, could you grab the package survival meals, actually? Um, because there's there's a lot of those, and we don't want to waste any. Uh, Lady Wolfheart, are you going to be tending? Let's see. Tending to Ica. Good, good, good. Let's see, Ica. How long have you got? Four hours. Ica, you're going to be fine. You are going to be fine, my friend. Uh, we've got a bit of repairs to do around the base. But overall, I have to say, that went... Remarkably well. Remarkably well. All right, let's get these replaced as quickly as we can. We don't want to waste any time with that one. There we are. And we'll pop down the power conduits as well. There we go. But for the time being, I'm going to pretty much give everyone a priority for hauling. So uh, we're going to go ahead and increase everyone's priorities on hauling by one and then later on i'll pull them all back down by one as well minor break risk yeah i can i can appreciate that Ooh, all right time for the cleanup operation okay i have set up some basic uh orders that should expedite the way that we can get all of this done. oh dark avak has decided to don the uh oh he's, he's sacrificed a human leather cowboy hat uh, mind you the durability on that is quite low okay well fair enough then it, it was uh, a little on the ways out let's say but has donned the recon helmet i'm not too surprised actually uh right this has an armor protection for the head of 92 percent on sharp so if something doesn't do around about 50 or more, then uh, that is not going to be treated as sharp. Uh, for example, if we have a look here, it gives a good explanation. Upon taking damage, first the armor rating is reduced by the attacker's armor penetration value. The armor, the remaining armor rating is then compared against a random number from 0 to 100. If the random number is under half of the armor rating, the damage deflects harmlessly. So if it's uh, less than, oh, let's say 50% for argument's sake, just, uh, you know, obviously uh, it's not quite 100 and we're not taking into account any kind of uh, armor penetration. Penetration, but if uh, if it was just basic damage with no armor penetration, then if it was well, okay, yeah, if, if it's below 46, then it would do no damage at all. But if it was between 46, uh, but not higher than 92, then it would be treated as blunt. Now, I don't think blunt then takes uh, care of that. I'm not actually sure. It would be interesting if it first downgrades the blunt and then gets checked against the blunt as well, because uh, that would uh, be a little bit OP. I don't believe it does that, though. I don't believe. Now, I've set up a couple of things that I want uh, our peeps to take care of. Uh, one of them, I would really like Dark Havoc to take care of this if he could, followed by taking care of these. I want to hook up the main battery to the the system here evil friend is gonna camp out for a little bit and hopefully get a bit healed dark havoc will probably do the same and lady wolfheart should take care of them 
soon after that. All right, let's make sure that everything gets built where we can. Yoko, good girl, she's helping out as well. Bless her. Uh, right, how's Pepsa? How's Ika? Ika's doing okay. Lady Wolfheart has done a very good job of that. And we'll probably be busy tending to the rest of the colonists for a little while yet. Uh, let's have a look at uh, Evil Friend. Evil Friend is heading out to, to grab a couple of meals and store them promptly, or rather to eat them. Now, where is Bone Dragon at the moment? This is how I am expediting this process. And now uh, I'll pause it here just to go over what, I, what I've told them to do. Bone Dragon is currently grabbing everything from outside and bringing it in here. Bone Dragon has a very, very high uh, priority uh, work order for storing things and as a direct result. In fact, I'm going to tell you to tear these down right now so that we've got the steel needed to go ahead and build the door. And uh, this will keep everything indoors. It's not gonna stop them from spoiling due to temperature, but it will stop them. Oh, oh my Lord, you woke up. You're gonna be dead in seven hours, but uh, that is that is dangerous. That is extremely dangerous. I was uh, not expecting that, honestly. Where are you headed? Uh, okay, we might need to deal with you. You might not, yeah, you, you passed out again. Uh, I think you're gonna be in and out of consciousness constantly. You will die on your own. I don't need to worry about that. But uh, this is gonna be a temporary storage spot where we're gonna try and bring everything in as quickly as we can. Now, a large amount of this comes out really dark, Havoc. What are you doing? The problem here is that uh, it is a much higher priority job for them to move things down there. Uh, I would rather you didn't do that. I'm on. I'm going to be honest with you. I'd rather you you haul things elsewhere. They're going to try and move things down there, which is not exactly the best. How about Lady Wolfheart? How about you go down there, take care of that? Have you taken care of Pepsa? Now, this is the part that where I'm going to have to be juggling things and making sure things are done in the right order. Um, yeah, Dark Havoc, if you could work on that, then following that, Tandy will friend. That would be grand. Lady Wolfhard can go down and uh, help out with, with things down here and uh, just make sure that, uh, as with Bone Dragon, things are getting stored as necessary. Uh, Melodus has got an infection. We don't care. <laughs> Frankly, we really, really don't care. Uh, sorry, Melodus, but the, that is going to be the way of things, I'm afraid. Now, I could have Lady Wolfheart. Can I assign you to hunting quickly? Yeah. Uh, could you hunt both of these? That'll be nice and easy. And then you can haul the weak armor in and haul these remaining items here and there. Once all that's done, I'll have you work on the... Uh, on the door as well because there should be enough steel around here to make a door yeah we'll easily be able to do that bone dragon will continue with their work and uh, dark alvic by the looks of it is going to go and try and sleep off some of the worst of this i'm actually going to tell dark alvic to take care of himself uh, because lady wolfheart is now otherwise disposed uh, can i get you to take care of that perhaps uh, prioritize tending to dark alvic there we go if you could work on that, that would be grand. We need to get everything done as quickly as we can, and things in here are going to start rotting, unfortunately, simply due to the fact that uh, we don't have uh, the items located in there. So I'm going to try and, and really prioritize Dark Avak working on that. Between Lady Wolfhard and Bone Dragon, we should get the, the majority of these items pulled away. It is going to cause a bit of uh, toxic buildup, and that does suck enormously, but it is what is, and uh, we can't really get away with that one right now the uh the focus of the colony has to be trying to just repair the damage that was done and then hopefully uh get back on their feet sooner rather than later we've got plenty of food for yoko so i'm no longer worried about her in any way uh mostly i'm worried about infections honestly so uh, hopefully we're going to be able to take care of that quickly now, there we go. Let's get that inside and then get that door ready. And uh, once we've got that door done as well, I would love you to work on this door. We've got visitors, really. They've got some items to trade. Well, well, well. This may be uh, very, very good times. A group from Studos Alliance are visiting the colony. They seem to have a few items to trade. Hmm. All right. Now, I am somewhat tempted to have Dark Havoc since he's grabbed the recon helmet to grab the recon armor as well. That would make him incredibly hard to kill. And if I also gave him a shield pot belt, I could just have him go focus full melee for a time. And it would be 
glorious in every way that glorious things can be glorious. Truly it would. Uh, Pepsa, I would rather these not be moved. I'm going to be honest with you, mate. Could you instead work on the doors? Uh, there's going to be a lot of micromanaging, unfortunately, for uh, for for now. And there's not much we can do to avoid that. It, we're just going to have to live with it for a little bit. Because this is such a high priority area. Uh, I am going to let you go about your business for a little bit. And do what you want. What are you going to take care of? Uh, grabbing a pack of survival meal. That is perfect. If you want a pack of survival meal, then please do. There we are, and you're going to rest. Well, actually, could you finish building that door first? If you do, then it's going to fix everything. Will you please stop stealing all of our resources? Uh, well, what I could do is I could tell this to be normal, I suppose. Uh, now that the corpses are in there, I guess it doesn't matter over much. Uh, what are you going to be doing? Where are we going on? No, no, no. I want you to haul this plant steel, please. If you would be so kind, please don't trigger the trap. Oh. That was uh, a little bit, a uh, little bit worrying there. I had to, I had to clench my teeth and hope for the best. I think, yes. You know what, Dark Arvac, go and grab this recon armor. Let's make you as tanky as we possibly can. All right, Lady Wolf, up. You go rest. Dark Arvac can take care of uh, the remaining amounts of uh, items there. Wearing Mega Sloth will, ooh. Uh, Megasloth will tribal... Uh, sorry, tribal win. Okay, well, you know, if you want to take care of that. I guess I could let you, or I could force you to finish connecting these. And this will join both uh, both power groups, which would be quite nice. They are now technically joined, so uh, all of our available generators are now going to be generating, which is uh, the main thing that we need right now. Okay, well, still got a little bit of work to do on the... Storage and I am gonna have to juggle and, and micromanage them a little bit just to make sure that they don't do anything really dumb Hopefully Ica is gonna recover soon Because we have got a fair few plants that are about ready to be harvestable and I would very Very much like them to be harvested as a consequence Right Dark Avic, that is fantastic. Go ahead and wear the shield pop belt straight after that And this should be amazing uh, There we go Popping that on. Oh, and you're going, really? You're going for the human leather duster? Pepsi. Wow. Uh, are you going to have uh, issues? Actually, no, I think uh, Pepsi has bloodlust, so it doesn't actually care. Uh, no, in fact, you, you actually kind of like it. This will scare them. All will know my power. Very well. Uh, now look at Dark Havoc, though. That is, that is an interesting appearance. Let's have a, a quick look at your gear. There we go. Um, torso shell. Uh, sorry, the uh, recon armor. Let's have a look. Does that give me any idea about your overall armor in here? I'm not sure that it, it does, like the overall armor that we have. Melee dog chance is actually reasonably high. Uh, penetration is 17. No, it doesn't give me a, an overall look at how, uh, how heavily protected they are, but uh, still, I'm pretty happy. With what I'm looking at there. Very, very happy indeed. Okay, well, I will bring you back when there is something interesting to report. Okay, in trading, despite the fact that Dark Avak is actually feeling a little bit under the weather and this, uh, his talking is a little bit uh, worse for wear, we are making a fair bit of money here, despite buying five extra practice of iron meals and two extra medicine. We're trading off our good jade small sculpture. Let's have a quick look at the art in that. Pepster's art. Uh, on the sculpture is an artwork of an overwhelming force advancing over a gorge. Pepster lies on the ground wounded. A miller floats in the upper part of the image. The work is shaded in hues of purple and blue. This representation refers to Pepster's settlement being attacked by raiders on the 3rd of Jugus. 5502. Marvellous. I like it a lot. Uh, yeah, we're going to pass that on, but uh, that, and as well as uh, a number of worse for wear items of clothing and uh, the odd weapon here and there. For the most part, though, we're keeping uh, what we recently won in the combat. But, uh, you know, that's not a bad trade at all. And we cleared the, uh, the traders out of pretty much all of their money as well. Uh, could we haul the pack of survival meal? Because I really don't trust 
our turkey friend over there, unfortunately. Evil friend taking care of Ica there. We've still got a number of items out and about, unfortunately. We will hopefully be able to get those in reasonably soon. We are doing a fair job, though, of repurposing this room. I do need those corpses brought over fairly quickly, actually. And In fact, I'm... well... They're going to be okay for a couple more days, but the human corpses, they're less good to leave there. Honestly, uh, yeah, we're probably going to want to bring those in reasonably soon. Uh, where are you hauling? It's hauling silver. Well, actually, how about Evil Friend? Yeah, you're already grabbing this one. That's good. That means that uh, this stockpile is a higher priority. Yes, indeed it is. So we should be able to take care of that. Ourselves and Iker is no longer incapable of walking. That is fantastic news. Fantastic news because, as we can see, the rice plants are getting close to harvest time. So Iker should be up and about ready to take care of that. Uh, Melodis has got another infection. <clears throat> I'm sorry, we don't care. You're all, you're not long for this world. I'm afraid to uh, inform you, uh, or maybe not really afraid. Actually, all things said and done, we've got some cargo parts. What do we have? We have got some, th wow, <clears throat> some thrombo fur. That is particularly nice. And I've got a bit of a frog in my throat. I do apologize. Uh, a sip of tea should fix it. Ah, glorious. Okay, so Papsir is now fully healed and a new quest is available. Forced weather for pay. Okay. A machine persona in an orbiting ship wants to perform some planetary experiments. However, if she carries out her experiment, a weather control system will force the weather around Noble Rest to be foggy for 7.3 days. She is concerned about getting in trouble with the Ethical Review Board and is asking for your consent. Five Glitter World Meds or a Masterwork Great Bow? A Masterwork Great Bow. Now that cannot be understated how amazing that is. Ooh. That is... Very nice. A hundred percent accurate. Up to 25 tiles away. And up to 40 tiles, 68% accurate. That is that is genuinely amazing. 21 damage too. We've got seven days on that quest. Let me just have a quick gander at uh, Dark Avax. Uh, assault rifle here. Yes, this is, this is not even close to that level of accuracy. Well, 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 well. I am tempted. I am sorely tempted for that masterwork. Uh, great bow there. The Glitter World meds are crazy valuable, and they may be the better ones to go for, realistically speaking. But wow. A masterwork is really nothing to turn your nose up at. Uh, I'm going to ask Dark Avak to uninstall this, though. I'm a little bit concerned about the potential uh, zzzt that might happen from two full batteries. So let's pull that out. One battery, that even if it's full, is not going to cause enough damage to really mess anything up. So uh, we should be we should be safe with that. Thank you very much, Yoko. Feel how valid, Karyad. There we go. Let's get all of that in. Uh, yeah, we're going to be hopefully at a point where Ica can harvest the grass, uh, sort of the uh, the rice, the grass, uh, reasonably soon. Uh oh, what's happened just there? Dark Avac. Catatonic. Final straw was tired. Oh no. He'll recover in several days. Well, that is wretched. <sighs> we haven't been able to give him any of his delicious human noms in a long while, and as a direct result, that uh, that happened. Of course, Yoko is immediately rescuing Dark Avak. Uh, nothing. It wouldn't go any other way, really, let's let's be honest. Now, I do need to continue to bring this in. It's going to be painful to have Dark Avak out, out for the count for a little while, but, uh, well, I guess that's uh, that's a thing. Uh, hopefully, Lady Wolfheart can take care of Dark Avak's wounds. I, I believe, actually, Dark Avak's wounds have been, uh, have been seen, too, so that should be okay. But what we will have is uh, Lady Wolfheart can work on this sword. Dark Avak, to be fair, has been doing a lot of work in the last couple of, uh, well, the last two days. It, only two days has passed in this episode, which is kind of uh, shocking, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, what are we moving right now? We are oh, building a roof. Okay, well, fair enough. Uh, you're going to be hauling a mega spider, and evil friend, you're going to be hauling a corpse. Well, that's fine. I'm, I'm actually a lot happier for you to move these items around, and Pepsi's taking care 
of all of this. But you know what I would really love if you did? Is hauling these out of there. Uh, I'm afraid you're just going to have to be dead. Now, Dark Eric spent a lot of time. He pushed the limit on his mural heat a little bit, but uh, that shouldn't be too terrible there. Toxic buildup was, was a bit nasty. Uh, yeah, that that's going to be a pain, but we'll see how it goes. He'll, may, he might come to here and there, but probably not too much. Uh, Yoko's going to just have to watch over the colony in his absence. We have got our door there, though, so that's, uh, that's an important one. That one will now prevent the uh, decay of the items in here, and uh, until Dark Avak wakes up, uh, I'm afraid our colonists are going to have to rely on the Packer Survival Meals, I would say. That is going to be an important one. What's Evil Friend going for right now? You're going to haul the Mega Spider, that's fine. Bone Dragon, let me have a look at your health. Uh, it's getting a little bit high, I'll be honest. Not liking that too much. Uh, how about we move these? I really don't want these to get worn out. So let's try and get them in as quickly as we can. And Bone Dragon, I know you're not exactly the fastest uh, when it comes to hauling. So let's just get these in. Let's try and get the things that are going to decay inside. I've given them enough time to try and do things uh, at their own discretion. Uh, at this point, I really do need them to start moving this stuff in before it starts to decay. Uh, we could bring in the last little bits, but honestly, I don't think the rest of this... Oh, actually, it will deteriorate due to being unmoved. Uh, I'll allow Lady Wolfheart to, to get the uh, Mega Spider out of there, though. And hopefully, uh, once Bone Dragon has brought these in, I'll allow them to start taking these corpses off. That will stop pulling people's mood down quite as much because they're currently having to walk through a room full of dead people, and it's not exactly the most fun thing thing to see in the world. Uh, Pepsa is, of course, bringing the uh, the pack survival meals away and taking them up uh, top, which isn't ideal. I would have preferred you to, to bring that in, but we should be able to get everything sorted. I'm going to allow our colonists to continue cleaning up uh, after the last battle, though, and eventually we're going to come down here. We're going to strip down these sandbags and recover the uh, cloth and also going to move the mortars. We are going to have our own set of mortars up around here, probably, I'm thinking. But uh, that's going to be it for today's episode. I really do hope you've enjoyed. We have, unfortunately, run out of time. I usually prefer to make a little bit more in-game, like, time progress per episode. But, well, a lot went on in this one. And I am reasonably happy with the the results. You know, Dark Avax catatonic state notwithstanding. Uh, but we should be okay moving forward. As long as we don't get attacked in the next little while before Dark Havoc comes around, then uh, honestly, things prob probably went as good as they could have gone, considering the uh, the equipped, uh, equipment and the skill of our attackers. I'm fairly happy with what we have managed to achieve. But I'm probably going to have to pull Evil Friend in and tell him to stop uh, hauling before too long, because I'm getting a little bit worried about that toxic buildup. But that is going to be it from me. So thank you very, very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed, and do let me know in the force of weather for pay, we are going to be taking this quest. What should we go for? I mean, I am open to advanced components and silver, but really, for me, the choice is between the Glitter World Med, five of them, or the Masterwork Great Bow. I know it's a bow, not a gun, but at 30 range and 100% accuracy over medium and uh, short range, that is really no joke. So please do leave me your feedback down in the comments below. And of course, if you enjoyed the episode, then a like would go a long way as well. But that's going to be it for now. So until next time, to take care, everyone.